When we decided to pursue this idea of creating an industry academy, we talked about how developing and mentoring and supporting young professionals in our film community was kind of one area that was sort of missing. You know, one of the things that we're trying to do here at the Film Society is to have a better connection to the industry. And so this program kind of fits perfectly into that because it really is about interpersonal connections. It's really about uh, getting to know the industry from a people perspective and not just about the business of the industry. This year we had 10 participants, mostly North American from the US, a lot of them from New York, but also, we also had people from uh, Los Angeles. I came from Los Angeles, so it's really nice to meet people, a lot of people in the New York side of things because it's a little different than the LA industry. Working in uh, distribution, marketing, sales, programming, uh, exhibition. Coming from different parts of the industry, I think everyone's bringing something different to these presentations and, and just to the, to the group in general. It's an art that requires collaboration and it's important to know who these other collaborators are. So it's always interesting to learn the younger people who you will be working with eventually furthering your career. I'm learning a lot from them as, as much as I'm learning from the, the speakers. Seeing the different types of uh, perspectives in general, um, the passion. I think I ended up learning more from my younger participants. It, like it just inspires me to do as, as much as I possibly can to like um, make it in this industry. I just really love the aspect of um, connecting the young minority and women filmmakers together. You go to anything related to the industry, it's mainly male dominated, so it was really exciting to see so many women in that group. Well, I am thrilled to be uh, given the opportunity to be around other people of color and women that are coming up in the same industry. Your opinion matters and so you should be able to talk about the people and the subjects that are important to you. I feel like the industry just needs to get with the times of how the world is working. I, I think diversity is everywhere and we just need to reflect actually what's happening in people's social circles. Ultimately what I discovered is at its base everyone just wants their voice to be heard. With more voices talking about the foundations of film, you better understand the present of film and how to change the future of film. But I think that you also need different voices to do that because they care about those things. But at the same time, it's really, I don't know, it's inspiring to know that there is like a whole range of people with different ideas and different stories, and those just need to be tapped into. I just want to help support underrepresented voices in whatever capacity possible. Something that I don't have a, like an answer to yet, but um, it's just like really interesting hearing this whole concern that this industry has. Tens of thousands of movies made each year, but the systems that have historically been in place to, to find and distribute those films are dramatically changing. Features are so easy to make now, so you have people from all over the world being able to make features much more easily than they ever could before. All you need is an iPhone. But discussing here a lot about the distribution models, I think it's a really interesting thing and I think we can learn a lot about the US model and I think that will be an interesting way to continue my career. I didn't spend much time thinking about what types of jobs there are in the industry other than the ones I already knew. Having just come out of school, I was missing an academic context in my work. I, I really have loved to sit down and take notes and ask questions to these professionals. Hearing people that have years of experience in the industry telling us their opinion about these new concepts has really shaped my thinking of distribution. Um, I felt like the most important thing for me coming out of college was to meet people, you know, who you know and meeting people in this industry and getting to know contacts and building contacts in your network so that when you, when I do make my movies, um, I would know people already. First and foremost, the relationships that are being forged in this program will actually end up being uh, more valuable than anything else and in ways that we can't even predict right now. I would be silly not to keep in touch with all of them. They're gonna be leading the industry in different sectors. I know some people at other companies that people from here are interested in, so I wanna make the introductions. We're all just gonna hopefully do that for each other. And meeting everyone and talking with everyone and seeing what they do, the specific things that they do, um, has been invaluable to me. I don't know where my path will overlap with theirs, but I'm excited to lend them support in the future and maybe even collaborate, <laughs> hopefully. 
To me, walking back to your office and feeling like you have nine new friends, I think is extremely valuable, and I hope that that's what they left with. Offering the most that we can and offering a free program with, I have to say, the best professionals and, uh, and key players we could bring in, which is a real luxury here in New York. It's hard to remember what it was like to be that young person who was very excited about being uh, part of something bigger than yourself a little bit. And I think it's what any of us would have liked to have, you know, at that point in our careers. Everyone is so accomplished already in this, in this group. I'm, I'm so confident that I'll see all of them running companies in five, ten years, and that's really exciting.